Pancreatic cancer is one of the most deadly types of cancer. It often does not cause symptoms and it isn't usually found until the cancer has spread. It's seriously uh, affected so many families, so many loved ones. So joining us this morning to talk about this, Dr. Scott Ackerman with the Ackerman Cancer Center. Good morning to you, sir. Thank you for coming on as always. Pancreatic cancer you. is not a good phrase to hear when someone says that they're diagnosed with cancer. You're right. Uh, pancreatic cancer is very deadly. About 60,000 Americans are diagnosed every year with pancreatic cancer, and about 48,000 die every year. We know Bobby Bowden was just diagnosed uh, in July. It was announced that he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, and he just passed last week. So it's a very, very sad diagnosis, uh, a diagnosis of pancreatic cancer. So the statistics are scary to look at. I mean, it, it really is bad. What is the highest age group for risk? I mean, what makes you most at risk here? So there's a few things we look at with risk factors, and I'm glad you asked about age group, because usually pancreatic cancer is diagnosed in the elderly. The average age of someone diagnosed with pancreatic cancer is 70. And so um, that's, you know, it, it happens later in life. Men are more often diagnosed than women. So men have a more of a propensity of, de of developing pancreatic cancer. And there's some risk factors. These aren't really strong risk factors, but there are some risk factors. Tobacco use. So we know that smokers have double the risk of pancreatic cancer as non-smokers. Obesity. Obesity puts your risk about 20% higher than non-obese patients of developing pancreatic cancer. Diabetes associated with pancreatic cancer as well. And diabetes goes hands in hand with obesity. So obese people are more often diabetic. Also, we see that African-Americans have a slightly higher risk of pancreatic cancer. And there are also some, also, there are also some inherited genetic syndromes. The BRCA gene, which we're talking about for, for breast cancer, is also associated with an increased risk of pancreatic cancer. And Bobby Bowden, you talked about him, the Hall of Fame football coach, Florida State University legend, passed away earlier this month because of pancreatic cancer. Apparently, it was just too late by the time he was diagnosed. Why is this form of cancer so hard to spot? Because when it's caught early or when it's, when it's in its early stages, it has no symptoms. So it's just within the pancreas. And when one has symptoms, usually that's abdominal pain or maybe some jaundice, meaning you're, you're turning yellow. And that's usually when it's more advanced. When it's more advanced, it's growing into nerves, causing some pain, blocking the, the ducts that leave the, uh, the, the liver, or leave the pancreas, and that's causing some, some, di some difficulty and some discomfort. And to cure pancreatic cancer, the best cure is removing it surgically, taking it out completely. And the problem is if you don't get it out completely, you're not going to cure it. And when it's diagnosed, it's frequently when there's symptoms, and these symptoms are related to the tumor spreading beyond the pancreas. Mm -hmm. So certainly those are just some of the treatment options there. It's always best to discuss it with your doctors Hello. because no two cases are the same. Dr. Scott Ackerman, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you to the rest of your team at the Ackerman Cancer Center. Thank you, Vic.